I think that's the easiest way to explain to somebody how material science has progressed over the last several years is just look at a car. You go look at a car that was built in the 70s or even the 80s and it was a big heavy metal thing. Um, and these days you're going to see a, a lighter, faster, quieter car and a lot of that is due to material science. You can't really de develop uh, any kind of technology unless you understand what's going on with that material. So there's going to be some strengths to some materials there are going to be some other two other ones. And uh, you also have to understand how they interact in between each other. I get to see the theoretical side of the research, but I also get to come down here and I get to work on the machines. I get to do the testing of the actual materials. So I get to see both sides of it. I get to work both sides of it. I personally like the hands-on stuff. Um, and I do get to do a lot of that hands-on stuff here as well. That's, that's probably my favorite part about it. They have a program here in Tulsa, um, and I can work here in Tulsa and live here in Tulsa and take all of my classes here in Tulsa and get my material science degree through Tulsa. It's a good location to uh, develop uh, new technologies. Uh, they're coming up with programs uh, within the city of Tulsa to uh, grow the market. We need to uh, better our market so that we can have a good city. I got my associate's degree in engineering from TCC, which is Tulsa Community College, and then I transferred over to OSU Tulsa where I got my bachelor's degree in mechanical engineering. Um, and I was actually very impressed with that transfer process. Uh, it was a very easy process. It was almost seamless. Um, the, the advisors at both locations, but especially here at, at OSU Tulsa, did a very good job of making that as painless as possible. Follow your dream. If you really want your life to be better, you can get there from here.